Hey guys, this is WWE NXT superstar Dominic Dijakovic. I want you to feast your eyes on the Heel Steven YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe everything on there and be sure to check out Around the Point and the Throwback. Feast your eyes. It's going to happen eventually, and if it does happen, it's going to be the whole Hart Foundation. Be Bret Hart, Jim D'Ambel Neidhart, Brian Pillman, Owen Hart, and Davey Boy Smith, the British Bulldog. Like that in a pack. I know a lot of you are going to say, oh, it's fucked up by Martha Hart, but I understand her position. But at the same time, I do feel like, yo, it's been over 16 years. It's time to move on. It's amazing where my point of view was almost five years ago with the whole Owen Hart being put in the WWE Hall of Fame and where I stood with Dr. Martha Hart uh, being the reason for it not happening. And again, I say that because, again, that was almost five years ago or so. After watching Dark Side of the Ring last night, the season finale of season two, talking about Owen Hart and the whole incident that took place at Over the Edge 99, I can sit here now and tell you guys that I 100% I am in full support of Dr. Martha Hart and her family and the whole Hart, Owen Hart Foundation, all that stuff. I think, again, what she went through, not only her, but what her son and her daughter and Martha, that is, right, Dr. Martha Hart, all of them went through was just terrible. Just so, so terrible. All because of one stupid decision from wwe to allow owen to come down from the top i guess of the rafters if you will right the catwalk if you will on a different hook to come down fast because they didn't they want it to be sort of like like sting does in wcw right as the blue blazer and all that stuff and the fact that the hook or the clip that they use right is used for sailboats and it only takes six pounds of pressure even though owen weighed over 200 pounds and that was supposed that was supposed to support him and it was again so stupid it should have never happened i thought overall the the whole documentary i enjoyed it i did at the same time i will not deny that i cried i cried during the whole documentary and i know for a fact that i'm not the only one i know for a fact that a lot of people on social media on twitter we're also not at a dry eye as well. People were saying, oh, this is tough to sit through. This is an emotional roller coaster, which it was. It was definitely an emotional roller coaster. At the same time, let's be real about it. This was, if we think about season two, right? Think about season two. The two anticipated episodes were Chris Benoit and Owen Hart. Everything in between was fine, but the Owen one and the Chris Benoit were the two that you wanted to see. Like, you knew she was going to get real. When they're 20 minutes into the documentary, and boom, they talk about Owen's death. That's when you know shit's real. They had Jim Ross be interviewed in this because Jim Ross was doing commentary uh, that night at Over the Edge 99. They had The Godfather, who was Owen's opponent. They interviewed Jimmy Coderas, who was the referee for that match, and they talked about how they went over the plans for the match as well. Um, they interviewed Oj, they interviewed Athena, the kids of Owen and Dr. Martha Hart as well. Uh, it would have been cool if they would have gotten Bret Hart, but I can understand why they, they couldn't get him. They interviewed Jim Cornette, and Jim Cornette, you can just tell, was so emotional talking about this. Because he loved Owen Hart. He managed Owen Hart. And then you hear Jim Ross say, oh, you know, you know, he finds out that Owen's dead through Kevin Dunn. And Kevin Dunn says, oh, he's dead. Oh, by the way, we're going back live in 10 nine eight like he had no time that being jim ross the process was going on oh you just put him on the spot no bruh and for that that the idea that kevin dunn still has a paycheck or still gets a paycheck from wwe is disgusting it's sad it is fucking sad they talked about also taking that being dr martha hart taking wwe to court trying to get the laws to try to get everything done, right? How she wanted this case to go to trial, right? She wanted justice for Owen Hart. How Vince wanted to take all this to Connecticut so he wouldn't have to deal with punitive damages and eventually they sell for money. And how, again, the Hart family themselves 
how some of them were in support of Dr. Martha Hart. Some of them really weren't because, again, they had this connection to WWE and what WWE's done for the Hart family. And then there were some members of the Hart family who took any evidence that Martha had and tried to hide it from her, take it away from her and stuff like that, which is so disgusting when you hear it. It's so low of them because, again, what Dr. Martha Hart is trying to do is trying to get justice done for a family member of theirs, right? A, a brother or their own flesh and blood. And for them to do that is kind of just, no, it's sad. It really, really is sad. He hoped that Owen would go in the WWE Hall of Fame. It's not happening. It's never going to happen. And why would it? At the end of the day, listen, after watching this, Owen Hart's legacy does not need the WWE Hall of Fame. It doesn't. I think, again, when we as fans, right, when we look back at Owen's career, we don't think about Over the Edge 99. Yes, it happened. I get that. And it goes back to what I said almost five years ago. When I think about Owen Hart, I think about his accolades. You know, the King of Hearts, the Rocket Owen Hart. WrestleMania 10, him and Bret had probably the best opening match in the history of WrestleMania. Former Intercontinental Champion, former European Champion, former Tag Team Champion, right? The 1994 King of the Ring winner. One of the best high flyers. That WWE has seen someone that was ahead of his time. It's crazy because Jericho did say, you know, let's assume that Owen was still alive, right? And in 2000, when the likes of Eddie Guerrero, Dean Malenko, Chris Benoit, Edge, Christian, even Jericho himself, himself would have come on the WWE, Owen Hart would have had a career resurgence. Can you imagine the rival or the feud or a program, if you will, right? Of an Owen Hart versus Eddie Guerrero. Owen Hart versus Chris Benoit. Owen Hart versus Dean Malenka. Owen Hart versus Jericho. Owen versus Edge. Or hell, Owen Hart versus Kurt Angle. Who You can't sit there and tell me you would not love to see that. I know a lot of people would have said, oh, a fantasy match. Kurt Angle versus Bret Hart. Honestly, I would have rather seen Kurt Angle versus Owen Hart. That's just me. You know? But again, they also show how Martha Hart... And she took her kids, right, back to the, uh, the, to the arena in, in Kansas City where it all went down. And Owen, again, fell and all that stuff. She basically retraced the footsteps, basically, what Owen had to go through that night. And they saw just how, like, how much of a height it was and how all that stuff went down. Hell, there's police photos and there's blood in the ring. Blood in the ring and wrestlers are still going at it. It's the wrestling. And again, I will still say they should have ended that show right there and there. But instead, they kept it going. They kept it happening. And that to me was still no. Even all these years later and shit. Over the Edge 99 is a show that no one goes back and watches. I'm not even sure if it's on the network. I'm pretty sure it is. But if, it's, if it is, I'm not watching it. <laughs> That's just that at the end of the day. But... Overall, though, again, I am all in support of what Dr. Martha Hart and her kids are doing with the whole Owen Hart Foundation. They also show how Owen Hart, you know, at the end of the day, was the good humanitarian. Yes, he comes from a wrestling family, right? That's royalty. But his passion for the business wasn't really as strong as, let's say, someone like Brett's. He just wanted to make money for his family, for his family, so his family could have a good living, Right. For him, wrestling was just whatever. Granted, he was good at it, but he was never really focused in wrestling. And just gone too soon. Really, really gone too soon. Someone that we could even say could have been WWE champion. And it's a shame that never happened. But I will say, again, guys, give it a watch if you can. Again, it's an emotional roller coaster. And again, I did enjoy season two of Dark Side of the Ring. I look forward to season three and all that stuff. But again, guys, give me your thoughts in the comment threads below. Your thoughts on all of this regarding Dark Side of the Ring with Owen Hart. Where do you stand with all this now? All that stuff. Let me know. Or not let me know on Twitter at HeelSteven. And that being said, guys, I'll see you guys next video. Peace out.